So who uses bro control? <laughs> Good, might be coincidence. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna talk about a lot of the work that me and Daniel Thayer did over the last couple of months, uh, kind of refactoring and adding some new features to bro control. So first, a quick quiz. So not in 2.4, because we made it easier. So before 2.4, if you change something, a config, a bro policy, and you wanted to push it out to your cluster, what commands in bro control would you use to do that? Does anyone know? And to make sure that nothing is broken. Any takers? Check. Install. In that order or a different order? Does anyone know the order that you're supposed to do that in? So that actually is the right order. Check, install, restart. Uh, so hanging out on IRC, I would see all the time, maybe all of you are very smart and you all knew the exact right way to do this, but from what I saw on IRC, nobody knew how to do this. You would see people do install and then check. But the interesting thing about check is that's done locally. So if you do an install, now you've pushed out a broken config to your cluster, you do a check and realize it's broken, it's too late. You've already pushed it out to all your nodes. So you're supposed to do check first to detect if something was broken and then push it out. Uh, many people would use update, which is an older command that doesn't really do anything anymore, and I'm not quite sure if it really works or ever worked the right way. That was so if you updated a constant, you can push out the constant without restarting bro. It was always kind of flaky. Um, so I would see people do check, update, restart. And I'd ask, you know, why are you running update? And they're like, well, don't you have to? So. Uh, long story short, no one knew how to do it the right way, so I talked with Daniel. We came up with the deploy command. Who has used the new deploy command? And deploy does check, install, restart, or check, install, stop, restart. Always does the right thing, so you cannot do the wrong thing anymore, which is great, because it even tells you to run deploy. You change your config, it tells you to run deploy, so no more people running install check or the, there was actually an older command, if you ran it with a flag, would try to do this, but it did it really, in my opinion, in the worst possible order. It would do like a stop, install, check, start, or something like that. So not only did you push out a broken config, you stopped a bro before that, so now you can't start it again until you fix your config. So now we have deploy. The documentation tells you to use deploy. The help tells you to use deploy. Use deploy. So. That's my note, I put that under foot protection. Bro control had so many ways to shoot yourself in the foot, like running, stop, check, instead of check first. So one of the things we tried to do is remove all those ways to shoot yourself in the foot. Uh, another one of those ways, which caused, I think, the funniest bug title, was the dangling bro nodes. Does anyone know what dangling bro nodes are in the context of bro control? Sounds like something you should see a doctor about. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so that would happen a lot if you provisioned a bro cluster, told it you wanted you know, 16 workers on a machine, and then decided that was too much, I only want 14. So you go, you edit your node config, you replace the LB prox, you change it from 16 to 14, and you restart your cluster, and now you have two bro processes that are running that it completely forgot about. So now it no longer forgets about them. It will complain and tell you, hey, you have bro processes running that I don't know anything about, which is great. Um, there's another feature kind of related to that where if you, has anyone ever had problems with one of their workers? This was something that prior to 2.4 was really not handled well. If you had you know, an eight node cluster and one of them was kind of crashy or just down, Bro control did not like that at all. It would fail doing SSH. If you told it to start and it couldn't, it would kind of forget that it couldn't do that, and then bro control cron would complain. So now bro control does a much better job about keeping track of the desired state. Uh, I had an interesting discussion on IRC, maybe with one of you a long time ago, about you know if you tell bro control to stop and one of the nodes, you know SSH was broken. You know, shortly after, now SSH works, but it didn't remember, hey, I should probably stop bro on that node. So now all the commands kind of do uh, 
they update the desired state first. So you say stop, it makes a note in the bro control state that, hey, broken bro should be stopped on all the nodes. So if it actually fails, it'll at least remember the next time bro control cron runs that it's supposed to be stopping and not starting. So that made things, I think, a lot more reliable whenever you have a node that's broken, which did not used to be fun at all. Uh, one feature I can demo real quick. Um, it still could be a little faster, but so there's a new option, which many people probably want, called status CMD show all. You set that to zero. Now I think the latest changes in Git, you can actually set that to false instead of zero, but so now that that's zero, bro control status will not do any of the broccoli communication, which turned out was actually why um, it was so slow. So now on a decent sized cluster, you do a status, it returns in pretty much one or two seconds. And you can see if I bro etc uh, bro control config, if I change that to the back to the default of one and do a status, let's probably maximize that. See, it's the peer status, which is the broccoli, which is what everyone was actually complaining about. Turned out the SSH was fine. So if you profiled it and added some debugging statements, so no one wants to wait. So most people, once your cluster's up and working and you're not um, trying to troubleshoot anything, set CMD status show all to zero and your status will run much faster. So huge improvement for a lot of larger clusters. Um, one thing mostly Daniel did was, we didn't fix all the errors. I mean, there's still plenty of things that can go wrong with permissions and directories not existing. But there's a ton of cases now that if you at least do get an error, it'll probably tell you what's wrong and how to fix it. Like, you need to make this directory or you don't have permission to write here. Um, it's, it's much, much improved. Trying not to go too fast. Um, so one of the probably largest changes as far as new code in bro control is the rewritten SSH communication code, which if it's broken, that's all my fault. Um, I'm sure when bro control was new, most clusters maybe ran one or two workers on a node because everyone had these crazy fast dual processor boxes. But now we have you know quad hex core machines and we're running 16, 24 workers on a box. So the kind of shortcut bro control did was it just did one SSH connection per worker because it was no big deal to run two connections per machine. 24 connections per machine was a little crazy and caused some performance issues. So the new SSH code in 2.4 always runs one connection per machine. And it has a built-in multiplexer that I wrote to get around uh, some limitations of SSH. My first thing I tried was, oh, SSH has control master. I'll just use that. It defaults to like 20 is the max. So I didn't want to have to tell people, oh, if you upgrade bro, you need to modify your SSH configs, which I could see could be a problem in some environments. So this works with stock SSH. You don't need to do multiplexing on the SSH side. So I have a graph. It's, it's not that interesting. You'd imagine what it looks like of just, you know, uh, processes ran in load on some of our workers. And you could tell when I upgraded to 2.4 because the every five minute cron job when it used to blast the machine with SSH connections doesn't happen anymore. So it's much more uh, lightweight on that side. And in addition, it's actually slightly slower if everything is working perfectly. But one of the reasons why the older code managed to be so fast is because it had no timeouts and just did blocking reads everywhere. So if one of your nodes was kind of running SSH, you know, you, you have you know out of memory situation or uh, file system issue where SSH kind of works, but you can't actually log in, the older code would just hang indefinitely. And that was a huge cause of those, you know, cannot uh, you know, get lock to do bro control commands. So now, obviously, bro control can't fix a box if it's broken, but it will at least time out and say, hey, I can't actually SSH here, and it'll continue on running commands on the nodes that it can and not just freeze up bro control completely, which is a huge improvement. So there's that. So one of the first things we did in Bro Control when I started working on it was try to refactor all of Bro Control to be a library. Before, it was the command line tool that you're all familiar with, 
but all the logic for collecting data and outputting data was all kind of in the same place. So it wasn't possible to run a command like status and get the actual result. You could print it to the screen, which is what it did, but there was no concept of I want to run status and get the status. So now that it's been completely refactored, bro control is a library. So if I find my terminal here, so I have a short file here, just two lines of Python, just to get it initialized. Import bro control and grab a new bro control library, which if you set your Python path, that's kind of the only weird thing you need to do. So now I have this B. B is a bro control. I can call, you know, result equals B dot status. And I just called status on the cluster. I have this result object. I can find out that it's OK. I can do, it gives you a tuple of the node, the status, and the data in r.nodes. And those are all the nodes. Data is a bit larger, but if you wanted it to be just status. So there, in a two-line script, I was able to talk to uh, the bro cluster, find out the status of all the nodes, and output it to the screen in you know, whatever format you know, I wanted. I don't have to output it in the format bro control uses. So people that have been wanting to write you know, better Nagios plugins or better integration with other systems, now you can use bro control directly instead of trying to run it on the command line and parse the output. Now you get the actual data back instead of just text. So this will open the door for a lot of interesting things. So the reason why we wrote this is because we wanted to do the bro control daemon, which without this library was impossible because you can't just run commands. It, it wouldn't work. So now that we have this, I, oops, I kind of have a demo I could show on my machine if it will be nice to me. Um, it should be in my history. Yes. I'm probably in the wrong directory there, too. Yep, uh, that is in somewhere. No. Ah, it is in here. There we go. So I was able to, now that we have this library working, have some proof of concept code. So this is running on localhost 8082, which that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you, Apple. If I curl that, oops, I don't remember how this works. And I just did that yesterday. Uh, CMD, oh. Hold on, hold on. Too many terminals. I get so discombobulated with the smaller screen sometimes. Oh, 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 oh. I actually, ah, I changed it to be post. That is why it does not work. So now that I'm actually posting instead of getting, it works. So if I post just slash status, I get this giant JSON response of the status of the bro cluster. And if I posted to start, It'll start the bro cluster and send me back the response. So all the commands are basically enabled through this simple interface. It's probably too simple, which is why I'm still thinking about the design. But this is hardly any code at all. I can show you here. Um, it is basically <laughs> this. It is basically, oh, you went to slash status. I'm going to run the status function on the bro control library. And that works for just about all the commands. Like, um, so status works, you know, stop works. I can run df and get the disk status back. I can run a deploy, which will take a little longer. But for the most part, everything works. So fairly shortly, we should be able to ship an optional bro control daemon and build a web interface on top of this that includes nice buttons for status, stop, restart. So you could you know, show it to your manager or someone that's not terribly familiar with the command line and be like, oh, if you need to restart the bro cluster, you just have to click the restart button instead of running bro control restart. So lots of exciting things coming with the refactored library. 
plus the code is so much more cleaner now, but that's really behind the scenes stuff. Um, so that's the library and at least the initial daemon. Where's my notes file? I lost it. Ah, sure. Um, no, I think it works. Um, I have support for that. So initially, it'll be bound to something like localhost or a local socket. So in theory, I'd imagine most of you don't allow other non-security people to log into your borough manager. It's not a shared system somewhere, so that should be a fine security model initially. Definitely no plans on having the daemon listen on anything like a public interface. That's not where we're going with that. Um, so, oh, uh, one thing, I think I can demo it. It's, it's in master, it's not in, um, in 2.4, because uh, Daniel just got it working, I think. If, it may or may not work, <laughs> I forget. I have many, many versions of bro here, I forget which one I'm using. I might have to, user local bro. Bin bro control. This might, yeah, that looks like the right one. So I'm in bro control. If I edit user local bro etc node.cfg, or try edit this one instead, I think this will work. If I were to change that back to one and pop over to here and run a command, ah, yes. Now it detects, hey, your configuration has changed. You should probably run the deploy command. So it doesn't yet auto-reload it. I'll have to talk to Daniel about that. I think it probably should, but it at least tells you, hey, your config changed. I know this has uh, tripped up a number of people over the years where they run bro control, and they're editing their config, and they're changing all these settings, and no matter how many times they redeploy it, nothing works. It was because the config didn't reload. And now it tells you, hey, your config changed, and when you run deploy, the first thing it does is reloading the config. So now this problem doesn't happen. Oops. And that's actually, I did that on purpose. That was, um, <laughs> no, does anyone remember the proxy crashing bug where your proxy would crash with that unknown message type? Yeah. That doesn't happen anymore, right? It, right? <laughs> right? That was, uh, so we had a hard time fixing that. I was finally able to cause it to happen immediately and sent it over to John Seawick, and he fixed it in like an hour. So that's why it still crashes, because I still have the patched version with the config that makes it crash on purpose. But I don't have the fix. Um, so yeah, ignore that. Uh, so yeah, config reloading. And yeah, that goes back to the not being able to shoot yourself in the foot anymore. It will tell you, hey, you should reload your config and save you from that. Um, I think that's most of the new things. Any questions on broke control? Any complaints in 2.4? No complaints, it's perfect? Great. <laughs> All right, I know there's a breakneck, so there's not terribly much incentive to keep talking. There's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, no, I mean, that's, it's, I mean, if it was a Python conference, I could talk for like two hours on how we completely refactored all the code, but probably not very interesting. I think really the takeaways are it's, you can't really shoot yourself in the foot anymore, or at least the number of ways that you can is reduced greatly. It's much better about handling errors and SSH problems. And now it's a library, so if you did want to program against it, you can do that. So that's the new bro control. All right.